ZBLL Trainer is the web application that helps you to master both recognition and execution of the ZBLL stage. If you just want to practice execution, then you don't need any trainer at all. You just open the list of algorithms and you execute them one by one. But if you need something that more closely resembles real solves and something that allows to practice ZBLL most efficiently, then this is the tool you need. The basic workflow goes like this. You select the cases that you would like to practice. Make sure you hit the header of this OLL group to unfold all of the COLLs in it and hit the header of the COLL to unfold the ZBLLs in the COLL and then you hit start. Now you are given a scramble and you apply the scramble to a solved cube like you would normally do. Now at this point you don't have to look at the cube, you have to hold the space and start the timer and only then you look at the cube and try to execute the ZBL case. Now, this ZBL case is one of those that you have selected in the previous stage. So you just execute this as fast as you can and hit the space button. Now, you can proceed with the next scramble or you can analyze your results if you feel like you need to do it. You can set it up if required and you can see the ALKS. And if you feel like you totally don't need to rehearse it anymore, you can unselect this by clicking this select mark. Notice that six cases are selected right now, so you hit select, and there are five now, and you select it again, and there are six. You can hit this star icon, and by doing so, you actually create a start preset. And that's the way you do it. You just scramble the cube, start the timer, execute the case, stop the timer, analyze the results if needed, and keep on. One feature that you would probably use the most is the recap each case once button. When you hit it, all the selected cases are added to the recap set. So this scramble is one of the six scrambles. And if you scramble your cube and you complete this case, now there are five cases to recap and this is one of the remaining five. Now, if you start the timer and you figure out that you actually misscrambled the cube, so you stop the timer and it's excluded from the recap group, you can simply hit delete to delete the last result. And the ZBL case that has been excluded from this recap case will actually be returned into that. So you don't have to worry about not recapping every single case. So you just simply hit delete or you hit Alt plus Z or Control plus Z and you will undo the result or undo the miss scramble. And you can also do it by hitting this delete button that will just delete the selected result. So these are the 11 results that I have. I can switch between them by hitting left and right or selecting it with a mouse. I can unselect this if needed. I can add this to the start preset or I can delete it. Or I can clear all of the results by hitting this clear button or shift plus delete hotkey. These are all of the hotkeys that ZBLL Trainer supports. So actually, if you recapping each case once, if you have finished with your recap, you don't have to actually click select and recap each case once one more time. You can simply press Alt plus R and that will restart the recap. Now onto the settings. That's pretty much self-explanatory. The one that I've added recently is Scramble Appendix. So basically, if you want to make your ZBLL practicing session even more closely resemble the real selves, then you can select one of these. And so when you will apply this scramble to your cube, it will be RUR prime away from two layers be solved. At the end of the scramble, you do RU prime R prime. And when you hit space, after removing your finger from the space bar, you start by this three mover, and then you recognize the ZBL case. You can also change the theme of your ZBL trainer. Themes are always cool. And you can practice ZBLL using your mobile device. So this tool works with touch screens. If you actually hit the timer, let go and stop. There we go. So give it a try at bestsideeveru slash ZBLL and leave your feedback in the comments of this video. See you.